Hello everybody, I just wanted to put in this quick cart tweak. Because here on YouTube, I got caught out there making leaving the cart open to where in part 16 on the cart, you can change the quantity. You can put in a decimal point there. And that's not cool. And Mazook's the one that found it. See if I put in point 0.5, I press change, it made the price of that item half of what it's supposed to be. <laughs> we don't we can't have that. Nope. All right, so what we got to do, and uh, here in the video, and this is what's cool about doing the tutorial in real time, especially somewhere like on YouTube, where people can give you instant feedback as you go. Uh, let's see, Mazook was the one that found it, and you can read this comment. It's on the part 16 of this lesson series. Mazook was the one that initially found it because he put in 0.5, and it gave him half price. I told him a couple of things he can try, and then NG Shane, which is Shane UK from Develop PHP, he's the one that suggested putting a drop down, which would be a good su solution to that problem. Or you could do something like Adrian281990 did here, which is that's pretty good coding there. But I'm going to do something a little bit different to alleviate that problem, and it's going to be very quick. And don't worry, go into part 3 or section 3 of the cart.php. And right here, where you gather the quantity variable, the posted variable that is the quantity, yeah, let's go into file, open, store admin, the login page. You see how we have this preg replace function happening here? To strip everything but letters and numbers. I'm going to copy that and put it right under here. I'm going to strip everything but numbers. That way if they put a period in, it's just going to get stripped. So let's filter everything but numbers. So just take the quantity variable. That goes there. And it also goes here. Or you can put the posted variable there, however you want to set it up. I'm just going to leave it like that. Now, if you want to make sure it's under a certain number, just do this. If little if condition nest, grab this quantity variable. If quantity is greater than or equal to 100, then you can simply say something like this. Quantity equal to 99. That way, it'll no matter if they put in a million, if they put in a million, it'll always be at the tops. The maximum amount can be 99 because you're forcing it here in the script. If you want to get that compact into one line, just do that. Throw that if up there, and there you go. That whole if condition nest is sitting right there now. So if the quantity is greater than or equal to 100, the quantity equals 99. And you can adjust these numbers to be anything you need. You can also take that same if condition, copy it, put one line under it. If the quantity is less than 1, quantity equals 1. Because you don't want them to put a 0 in there. If they want to remove the card item, they hit the X button to remove X. So that will make sure it's in between 1 and 99 for sure, and it has no funny characters in it. This will make sure it has no funny characters. This will make sure it's not above 99. This will make sure it's not below 1. So you can use this approach that I've got here. You can use Adrian. I think that was his name. Adrian's approach at YouTube on, in the comment section. Or you can use NG Shane's approach, which is a drop down. Whatever you want to do. So stay tuned for part 18, where we're going to start talking about the payment gateways and the PayPal IPN script will come very shortly after that. You're going to have a script on your site that's going to communicate with PayPal behind the scenes. And we're going to be going with website payment standard because I think that's what most people would go with when they're starting out. Then you switch to something like website payments pro and then customers make payments on your site. They don't have to ever leave. You can click that little show me video right there and uh, well, we'll talk more about that in part 18. Stay tuned.